Hey guys, so today I'm really excited. I wanted to share with you guys some of my new contour stuff. I feel like I'm kind of overwhelmed lately with good products, which I guess is a good problem to have. But I've gotten a lot of new things um, contour-wise, highlight-wise. I feel like I've been doing a ton of demos revolving around this subject, but today I just really wanted to focus on contour. So I've already done my makeup and everything, but in a minute I'll kind of start and we'll just kind of go through them. I'll swatch them and I'll just kind of show you how to apply them. I just wanted to kind of film a little intro first. So this is the main new thing that I, well, I've got a couple new things, but cream products, cream contours, really, really nice. I think that you can get a really nice natural effect. This is the Anastasia cream. The Kevin Aquan, this is the contour book. It's not available anymore, so it's just, it's just not. But I just think everything's kind of unnecessary. I don't really like these candlelight ones. They don't show up on me. The sculpting powder is okay, but I like to pair that with a warmer one too, as you'll see in the video. The eyeshadows are nice, but not necessary. It's just, just this, just the sculpting cream, and they do sell that separately, um, so that's nice. I wonder if Anastasia is doing that. I remember they did that with the powder ones, but I'm not sure. And then the Tarte Tartist Contour. This is a product that I have really really felt fallen in love with. It's got every, it's got the perfect tone, a warm tone, a cooler tone, you know, like a darker, and then it's got, you know, some lighter highlight colors, a white, which is important to me since I'm fair, and usually none of these kits, just so many of them just don't work because it's like, they just don't. And then a, br and then a blush. Then of course, just briefly, I'll mention this. You guys have seen this so many times. I'm not even gonna talk about this in the video, but this is a good one if you are fair, like I was saying. I've almost hit pan like on this color, but the bronzer or the um, contour is so nice. It's got a color that is like a bronzer. Like I said, you've got to have a warm and a cool. I don't like to just do one. I'll kind of show you like my little two-step thing, but this is just such a good kit. Really, really highly recommend this one, but I have talked this into the ground, so I'm not going to really go over this. I'm just going to kind of go over my new things and demo the cream products because I think people can be more intimidated by cream products, and if you have maybe oily skin or if you you just may not think this is a product I want to use. I don't want to use cream. They're so nice. They feel really clean. And um, let's just do it. Let's just get into it. So other than that, I have my um, Maybelline Color Tattoo, the Creamy Beige. That's what I did on my lid. I've just been using that with a brush, like a, what is this, an E25 by Sigma, and just going for it. And I really love this eye look. It's so freaking easy. Not over the top, not overdone, but it looks so, so pretty. And then my, the Ico Skinny. Love this eyeliner. Love it, love it, love it. And then the Chanel. Volume to Chanel, you just can't beat that sometimes. And I have been so obsessed with like liquid lipstick and stuff lately that I feel like I was looking through my drawer the other day and I was like, wow, I've really left out a lot of things. Like I said, I hate it when I get overwhelmed and you know, I have too many good things and sometimes I feel like other good things kind of get left behind. So I did like a really good nude lip combo that I really love. It's the Too Faced Perfect Lips Perfect Nude Liner, the Kat Von D Noble. Such a perfect nude, like the most perfect nude. I love these studded kiss lipsticks. And then the Marc Jacobs Moon Glow, which is possibly one of the most perfect lip glosses ever. So that's what I'm wearing. Uh, my Borean BB Cream, I'll go through the rest of the makeup in the video and talk about all that. So let's get into it. You know, I feel like I've talked a lot about highlighting lately. I've talked a lot about different things. In my last video, I demoed uh, the product that I've already used. I feel like I've I'm already kind of pretty much mostly done with my makeup. I just haven't done the contour and stuff. So this I use under my eyes. And it's the Ultra HD. This is a highlight step kind of. It's not shimmery or anything. For me, highlight kind of has two parts. You use a light product like this to really kind of get this area and kind of brighten it up. And at the same time, rather than like piling up a ton of products, you can kind of get your circles and your shadowiness, but then kind of highlight as well. But then, hate this word, but you know, you can kind of, you know, people call it like strobing, where you put the, um, like the shimmery product, and then that kind of comes last. But um, this is kind of the first step, and I'm not gonna go over that, because I really want this to focus on contour, but that's kind of the step one, and that's what I've already done. So, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, I do have a video on that, I will link to that, it's my last video. So, on the other hand, I feel like contouring is a two-step thing too. I always just kind of say, you know, I'm just doing my simple soft contour thing. A lot of times I'll just use a bronzer. I'll use something like this, which is my uh, Chanel Bronze Universal. You'll notice that contour palettes have shades that are basically the tone of bronzers. So you'll see this, and it's got some cooler shades. 
um, in the TARDIS, you'll see this very like bronzy shade, same tone, okay? So what I do first, whether I'm gonna use cre a cream product or I'm gonna use the powder, is I take a brush like, you know, if I'm gonna use my powder, I use my Chanel, um, you know, big brush like that, and I kinda do it up. Now, for this one, I want to show you guys the Anastasia contours, so I'll just do this. This is like just a step that I would do with my foundation. It's just kind of like, you know, I'm not really like drawing a line or anything. I'm just kind of getting it in the area where I would just kind of use this anyways. You know, I'm not saying that I'm using this to contour, but if you do it softly like this and kind of focus on those areas, but then kind of blend it out, you get the same effects, like I've said so many times. So I think even if you know you're gonna do a soft contour and just leave it at this, or you're gonna go all out and really um, like go for it with some of these darker colors, like we're gonna do, then this is definitely step one. So don't say, oh, you can't use bronzer. Every single contour palette has a color just like that, and that's kind of what it's intended for. So um, yeah, see, it just that warmed up my skin. Nothing, no big deal. And a lot of days, this is it. This is what I would do. I would just go for, you know, I would go into like a blush. I would use my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance um, highlight, which I'll talk about this at the end because it's my very last step. The Kevin Aquan versus the Anastasia. So, okay. I'll talk about the Kevin Aquan in a minute. Really, the only color that I really like is the Sculpting Cream. These powders are fine, but these don't show up on me at all. The Candlelight Cream doesn't really do anything either. So, I would say... I. I don't like all this bulkiness with these um, contour palettes. I just want like one color, you know? So I believe Anastasia sells, I remember they used to sell like the products or the powders and the, the um, contour powder palette separately. Hopefully they'll do that as well with these because I really just like this color right here. <laughs> we'll go over that in a second. But the Kevin Aquan is super, super similar and they sell these two colors, I think you get most of the contour, uh, the sculpting cream, in a tiny little thing. And I wish that's what I would have gotten, although I do like these eyeshadows. It's not super necessary for me because I've got so many eyeshadows, but um, I'm not going to purchase that because obviously I've got this. So, um, yeah, you can get that and it's much smaller. Okay, so the Anastasia. I have heard that they reformulated these. These are very creamy, very blendable. I think that the first run of these, were, it was a little drier, it was a little harder to blend. So I'm glad that I waited and that I was able to get the later version. So I'll kind of do some swatches. So you've got this color. These are meant to be used as, um, you know, just like highlight. And I'll just kind of talk about these quickly. This really is the only color that I could use, like um, if I wanted to put it here or on my nose. The only place I would ever really use this is on my nose because I've already used my Ultra HD. It is so thin. Like I literally just have on BB cream and this and it's like, I feel like I don't have on anything. You know what I mean? It's not a lot of makeup. It looks natural when you're up close. This is just so natural. So I don't like using really creamy products in this area. I just feel like these are very creamy thick makeup products. <laughs> this, the second color that's a little more peachy, it's too dark for me. I can't really use that anywhere. I've seen, you know, some people when they do their contour, they'll take that cream product and they'll kind of trace it out. I don't, I don't like to do that. I like to have, I, I just don't like to do that. I don't, I don't like the way that looks on me. And then you've got the yellow. I don't use that anywhere for me. I think when you're fair, I, I don't really think that that works. For me, I'm just gonna say for me. I'm sure there's a lot of fair people that really like that. But I think that those yellowy toned colors look so great with people that have like a naturally more olive or a little more of a tan skin tone or a darker skin tone. That's what works really well. So for me, I don't really like a lot of palettes like this that have unnecessary colors. Like really, I would, I just want these two, you know? Okay, and then I wiped those off for the um, sculpting contours. <laughs> okay, just let me show you this for the tone. You can see how freaking dark these are. Okay, when you swatch these, this is my big kind of meh with this palette is that these are not that different. I feel like it's kind of a waste. And like even if you blend it, okay, if you blend it down, like so that you really can maybe see the undertone, 
Okay. I'm not really gonna get into that too much because I just don't think that they are different at all. So hopefully you can kind of see that. So the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Cream, I think it's just a really simple product. And I think this would be two if it was just one color. I just, I just think it's very kind of unnecessary, you know? Um, so the Sculpting Cream, let me get a bigger one so I can really, okay, this one, a little creamier feeling. Um, the tone is pretty similar. I feel like when I use the, it's the same, it's the same color. I feel like when I use the, these, like, I can't really compare. I've been using both of them, like, trying to do, like, a versus thing to try to figure out and definitively say which one I like better. And they're both very good. So, I would say if you just want, like, one and you don't want to spend all the money to buy the palette, I think that the little sculpting cream that you buy individually and it comes with a tiny little candlelight cream by Kevin Aquan, I don't think it's cheap by any means, but I do believe that it's cheaper than this. But you might want to go ahead and just buy this if the price isn't that different. I'll link both of them and you can kind of do a little compare. So what I would do with this, you know, you could take this and um, just so I can show you, it's very like thick. It's, it's, um, it's a product that like I said, I wouldn't want to put on all over my face because I don't feel like it really sets well. You'd have to put some powder on to set it. But you saw how dark these are. Because of that, you don't need a whole lot. I use this brush. It's the um, Sigma F04. And I just dab it in that. And I just kind of really, like, just blend the heck out of it. kind of blend it up around you know my hairline. This is a good brush because it's precise, but you can also kind of really blend well with it. These do last really well. Like the staying powder power is really nice. And I find that the Anastasia and the Kevin Aquan is really, really similar. So it's it's just about what you prefer. So you can see like that's just really nice. And if you wanted to take your beauty blender and just kind of like that's what I like to do. Just to make sure make absolutely sure that you haven't like gone completely nuts. Okay. I like to do that around my hairline too. So hopefully you can see how pretty that is. I do feel like it's a really pretty product. Um, I After you blend it in, it doesn't feel creamy. It just feels like nothing's on your skin, which I really like. That I guess is why I don't really like using a lot of these lighter ones. I think you could probably take, just for like example, let me show you. I don't have a better brush than this, but I'll take this one. It's this Accentuate Highlight Brush. But gosh, none of these match. Like, even this, if I were to put that here, it would look too dark, like too peachy, you know? I know that's weird to say that color is dark on me. But you could probably take that and, like, do a little thing. I'm just not into that. I just don't think that looks super great. Um, you can certainly do that. You could take that and also kind of go up there. But I like to use a different product there, so I don't like to get too makeup y. If this is available, which, okay, this is Java, and this is Fair. This is Light Sculpt, and this is Neutral. This is Havana, and this is Banana. So I would go for this Java color for me. I really like that. And um, like I said, you know, do kind of the two-step thing. It's, it's super simple. If you want to use a little on your nose, you can totally do that. Um, for me, doing that, I'm just, I'm always really careful doing that. Um, I'm just not a big, I'll just do it for the sake of the video, but I'm not a big nose contour. I like to put the light color down the center. Um, this is a really good brush for your nose. It's the Chisel and Trim Contour, the F77. With your nose contour, it's like less is more. Like, don't go nuts. I am not huge into that every day. Totally okay. Okay, so for me, this is great. It feels like nothing. I don't feel like I've piled on a ton of powder. It's just so good. Okay, so make your decision on this. This to me, I love this product. I love that. But it's kind of bulky. And like I said, you can get the same effect with this, but you can just buy it separately. But some of you guys might want this so that you have these colors too. Some of you might really like those. So for me, I'm just fair, so it's hard for some of those to show up. Um, the TARDIS palette, quickly, I'm just gonna kinda go through. What I would do with this is I would take like a number two Chanel brush, which I like to use with powder. This one, which is the F23 that I used with my 
um, Bronze Universal by Chanel. Did I even say what that was? This is more of like a good brush for cream products. Um, th which the Bronze Universal is very like almost cream to powder, like cream to nothing really, kind of like this. So whatever, like that and the Kevin O'Quan. So, okay, if I'm going to use a powder, I like to use this, two, this uh, number two Chanel. Again, I would do the same thing. It was just, it's just, it's just if I'm going to use powder or cream, it's just kind of whatever. So I would take that color, do it just like I did. I would take this contour shade, and um, again, you can take this brush and do the same exact thing. Th these highlight colors, again, they don't really show up on me. So I don't know. This color is really nice. It's not super shimmery. It's not super flat. It's just a good color to kind of take. Um, and that area right there. See, like, that's really pretty to me. I, I really, really like that. Um, and then this bronze or uh, blush is so, so pretty. And I'll use that, but, um, but I did want to show you. So this is like an all-in-one. I could go on vacation, take this with me. I do a video coming up about that soon. Um, and then that would be like, that would be it. So since, you know, I'm using creams, I wouldn't normally use this Becca after using this because this is powdery. I would probably just use my Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Highlighter. Since I used creams, the only powder I have is really just right there, and I'm not putting this there anyways. Um, I'll use a little bit of this just because I have really, really, really loved this. Um, and I feel like I've kind of demoed the heck out of all... I feel like lately it's just been all like highlighting videos and when I do like makeup demos, this is kind of what I focus on because I think this makes the biggest difference is like when you do your contour and your um, your highlight just to kind of finish everything off. Just a pretty product and you can, like I said, mix. it's pretty mixed in with your foundation or BB cream too if you wanted to get really fancy. And then just to finish my, this is the F37 brush which is perfect for using for like a powder like this. This is the Laura Mercier Highlight, um, the Matte Radiance Powder. And it's not matte. I don't. The word is the, the name is just really kind of misleading. I think what it is is that it's not frosty. It's not like gonna be hit you in the face, gross frosty. But it has that beautiful sheen like you see on the tops of people's cheeks. That's just so pretty. So it can be misleading, I think, to some. But if that's what you're looking for for a product like that, it's just so beautiful. You can see how pretty it is. Um, and I just like to layer it on top of this because it's just extra staying. You don't have to do that. You can use one or the other. You can use both, whatever. So I just kind of wanted to talk about this. I wanted to kind of show you guys. I wanted to... I feel like lately, honestly, I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I've got too many products that I like, which I guess is a good problem to have. But like, okay, for me, in a perfect world, I would just have this, okay? I don't... Or no, this. I don't really need this color. I don't, you know? I just want this. They sell it separately. I'll totally just buy Java. Um, and then this, I feel like I don't really need all these eyeshadows, although I'll, I'll use them. And this powder is good, but I like to use a warmer toned powder, like I said, as like a step one, you know? So I like something like this that's got both. So, okay. If you wanted to just get one, just buy the little Kevin Aquan thing that has a sculpting cream. You'll get the same exact results because I honestly cannot tell a difference. And um, I'll use this blush just to kind of show you. It's pretty. It's just a very like rosy, natural, mauve toned blush. It's not too pink. It's not bronzy at all. It's just, um, just kind of perfect. So I really love that this is kind of an all-in-one thing. And... I don't really think I would change anything about it. I mean, for me, obviously, these colors don't really show up, but I think for other people, this will be just so great. And then you could use this at the tops of your cheeks, although I don't think it's super shimmery enough to do that or um, glowy, pearly enough to do that, but it's just perfect for this area. So this, I think, is a good buy. So those are some new contour products. I just thought I would chit-chat about them, kind of demo them, go through my makeup today. So that's it. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I'm wearing my L&M sweatshirt today and a couple of necklaces. You can't really see this one. I, um, it's this pretty bar by Bobble Bar and then this little um, Pisces. It's called a Pisces strand by Bobble Bar too. And it's nice to just kind of layer. It's got two little stones and it's kind of like asymmetrical. It's really pretty. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that maybe you saw something that you wanted to try. Hope that was helpful um, seeing the little demos and stuff. Uh, but I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.